actually really want to learn in some time of our life. I mean, we really should be taught it at a very young age, but a lot of the times as we get older, we kind of like, you know, you fall off your bike, well, just brush your knee off and just, you know, get back on it, you're fine. And I've um, really understood like all through my life to master emotions. What that means is to have uh, some form of control to respond through any experience that you're going through. Um, because we have times in our lives that might things come up and we don't always know what we're feeling and we have these reactions and we wanna have um, the tools to respond in them in a healthy way. Right, and you know, you have your emotional wheel here. That's what it's called, right? Yeah. What exactly is this and how can this help us? So this is an emotional wheel. I also like to call it a frequency wheel. And um, on this wheel, there are tons of emotions that, and that we can identify with. And this tool is actually very powerful um, because a lot of times we don't know exactly what we're feeling. We just might feel like, oh, I don't feel really comfortable in my body. This tool can help you to identify, this is what I'm feeling. And um, maybe I wanna feel something different different and um, but having this tool in front of you is actually a really powerful thing and this is something that I teach in my coaching program um, which is a 10-week co coaching program and I give you the tools to have for the rest of your life so that way you can master your emotions throughout the rest of your life and have that freedom that feeling of just like wow I can move through life feeling great yeah and you wanted to show us one of the ways that we can master our emotions yeah. so can we try? Absolutely. Okay. Actually, the whole anyone who's watching can also um, participate in this. It's a very easy tool, but we want to use your little bit of your imagination. Um, our brain has senses, sends it to the brain and sends it to our body. One tool that we can use is using your imagination, and you can do this with your eyes closed or with your eyes open, but if you okay. were to sit here and just think about the number one and just listen to how your body responds when you think of the number one. What do you think of with the number one? Do you enjoy the number one? When you hear the number one, how does your body respond? Did you decide that maybe you like it, maybe you dislike it, okay? So now, with this next step, imagine a blank space. It can be a whiteboard, a black chalkboard, it could be a sidewalk, maybe a field, a wide open space. We just wanna create some blank space, okay? And notice how your body feels when you're in this blank space. Now, I'd like to invite you to imagine the number five. Maybe notice how you write the number five. What do you think of when you hear the number five? How do you feel? Do you like the number five or do you dislike it? What do you think of when you hear it? And now, bring your awareness into a blank space again. Taking a deep breath in and out. <sighs> what does it feel like to be in this blank space? So what we just did right there, this was a very easy and simple technique. And I go into more details and more depth as to how to master our emotions, but that's what you just did. Based off of um, uh, a decision of what we gave meaning to with our senses, your brain has a memory and you decided whether I like the number one, maybe I dislike the number one. How was that for you? How was that exercise? What did you yeah, guys think of with the number first? one? Yeah. Weirdly, when it was number one, I thought of nature in the background and then like one standing in front of it. Five, it was just blank. Oh, I love <laughs> that. Five had you nothing. Know, for me, it was like, one, I thought about like success, but then my space was kind of empty and that scared me. Oh, but yeah. But then five was kind of like reassurance and then going back into that space wasn't as scary anymore. Beautiful. So, you know, Natalia and I just had completely different experiences, yeah. but how do we understand that? And what is that? What if you don't, you know, Natalia wasn't feeling anything. Is that supposed to be okay? Yes, absolutely. That's okay. The longer you sit with an emotion, the longer you sit with a number, uh, with that experience or with an emotion, the more you're going to start to feel, right? So that was a very, we can shift and transmute through emotions within 15 seconds. However, momentum is um, within like 15 minutes. And so we want to feel, and I bring in more awareness and sit with the number one or that blank space for 15 minutes. And and then your body actually naturally will know how to transmute and move into another emotion. And you can identify by using this feeling wheel, this frequency wheel. But a lot of times, like I said, we want to make sure we use, pick the right one to shift into. But this was your perception. You guys just brought in awareness of how we have different perceptions of different things. And that's how we master our emotions is bringing in our awareness of our perception. Oh, it's just so fascinating. And you know, we're wrapping up on time, but if somebody wanted to try this program themselves with you or just learn more about Divine Sunshine, how can they reach out to you? 
to you. They can reach out um, at allison-morrow.com and I offer a free 15 second, 15 minute consultation and we can talk more about what other things we have to offer. Allison, this was so much fun. Thank you for teaching us how to master our emotions.